Hello guys, yung next sa ating ginagawang series of tutorial videos is yung reinforcement na scope. Ito yung footing, uh, column, and slab. So, dito naman sa ating uh, detailed estimate or unit cost analysis, uh, nandito na yung kailangan nating materials, and then yung kailangan nating labor, Liban lang doon sa equipment kasi hindi natin kailangan ng uh, heavy equipment. Uh, for ano lang, for the materials yung naidagdag lang is yung tools, yung manual bar bender. So kung makikita nyo is meron na siyang uh, quantity and yung of course uh, sa consumables or miscellaneous which is 5% kung ano yung total ng uh, materials cost. Uh, for manual bar bender uh, yung unit cost niya tingnan nyo lang dito sa taas is 15,000 and then yung 15,000 na yun is paghati-hatiin natin dun sa tatlo which is yung footing column and slab depende na lang dun sa uh, uh, weighted percentage ng kanyang quantity so yun so let's start for the derivation for uh, 16 mm diameter ni steel bar ang derivation natin since na yung uh, yung uh, yung BOQ quantity and unit natin or yung uh, unit is in terms of kilograms uh, we need to derive yung piece per kilograms kumbaga piece ng ano ng steel bar into kilograms so una is Ang isang piraso ng uh, steel bar is equivalent to 6 meters pagdating sa haba. And then, para matanggal yung uh, unit na, uh, na meters, uh, i-multiply natin siya ng yung 1 meter ng steel bar for 16 millimeter is equivalent to 1.58. Yung 1.58 yun yung unit weight ng 16 millimeters which is yung kilogram per meter so 1.58 kilogram per meter yun yung unit weight ng 16 millimeter so yun lumapas na yung quantity natin and then yung tie wear naman uh, ito yung usual kong ginagamit uh, ranging 8 millimeter hanggang uh, 16 millimeter diameter na bakal ang ang derivation niya, yung factor niya is uh, 1 kilogram ng tie wire kada um, 80 kilograms ng bakal. Oops. Hindi roll, kilogram. And then the price is 90 pesos per kilogram. So, yun. And then for our labor, yung productivity ng steel man sa fabrication is um, uh, 1 man hour 1 man hour per uh, 13 kilograms and then sa installation is 1 man hour per uh, 16 kilograms so yun mas mabilis yung production ng fabrication compared sa installation. And then, yung sa mga helper naman nila, yung apat, take dalawa silang helper si fabrication siya kasi installation. Uh, bali, i-divide ko lang na siya ng 2 or 50% ng productivity ng mga skilled natin na uh, still man. So, plus lang natin to, then divided by 2. Yan, lumabas na yung ano natin, unit cost. Unit cost natin is 121.93. So, kopya na natin dito. Doon naman tayo sa column. Yung column natin, meron tayong 16 mm at saka 12 mm. Yung 16 is yung sa main bar and then yung 12 mm is yung sa stirrups. So, yung factor uh, same nung kanina 1 over 6 times uh, 1 
over 1.58 na unit weight and then times ang quantification sa base estimate hindi ko siya hindi lang siya uh, pinakita dito pero yung quantity estimate nung uh, 16 millimeters is 550 kilograms sa 800 kilograms na total Ayan. so may 61 and then for 12 millimeter 1 over 6 times 1 over yung unit weight naman ng 12 millimeters natin is 0 0.88 and then times lang natin, yung 12mm naman natin is meron siyang 250 kilograms against 800 kilograms. So, yun. Yung tie wire naman natin, kilograms ulit to. And then, uh, 90. Uh, okay, 1 over 80 merong 11 kilograms na tie wire then transfer tayo sa labor labor natin pareh lang din doon sa productivity ng kulong yan so naka average na yung productivity natin sa lahat ng klase ng bakal and then Lastly, for this lab, ganun din, 1 over 6 times 1 over, yung unit weight naman ng 10 millimeters natin is 0 0.62. Ayan. Tie wire, 1 over 80. Kopihin ulit natin yung productivity. Tipat lang natin mga unit cost Ito sa column Yung sa slab So yun, meron na tayong uh, unit cost for the reinforcement ng footing, column, and slab so, kung nagustuhan nyo to, like nyo lang yung video na to, um, subscribe to this channel, and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell para sa susunod na may up, bago akong upload, manonotify na kayo agad. Salamat!